Good day to you again, boys and girls. How are you? All right. Now for today, we are going to study and revise linear motion. Okay. What do we mean by linear motion? It simply means how an object moves in a straight line. Linear means straight line. So motion is the way an object moves or will move along a straight line. All right. Let us go to some of the details about it. Before that, please let me remind you again, physics is as easy as, let me hear you shout it out, A, B, C. Very good. So, just remember that what we are going to revise is easy. Alright? And again, we need to remind ourselves too, that to study physics effectively, we need always to have outward revision, rehearse. It means we have to answer past examination questions. Like even linear motion, I have picked out this question to help us. It is one of the past year questions, objective paper, paper 1. Let us look at it. Diagram 2 shows the velocity time graph of an object. So here we have velocity versus time. Which acceleration time graph represents the same motion as the object? Let me show you the next page. Now, this is the answer given. There are four answers. In other words, that graph that was given to us just now, which is actually the velocity versus time graph, so which of the A, B, C, D answers here, which of them matches the velocity time graph of the question? So in a sense, this concept seems to be a bit abstract, but if you analyze it step by step, you would know what to do. All right. So let us go back to some basics and I will explain to you. All right. Now this is the question. This is actually the question enlarged. These are the answers. So what are we going to do? First question. What is the concept? What is the basis? How do I solve this problem? That is your question. Number one, remember definitions. Definitions, very important because the question gave us on velocity. And the question asks us acceleration. Huh. So we must understand what acceleration is. Okay, what is acceleration, anybody? Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Alright, don't worry too much. I'm going to help you. Remember, in my first lesson, I said you need always to understand how to use the formula page. So, the first equation is actually on acceleration. Here you are. Acceleration. Acceleration is given by rate of change of velocity. In other words, it is the change of velocity divided by the time taken. So, let us now just pay our attention, pay close attention to this. This is the main thing that we will work with. Alright, let us go back to the question now. I'm going to label the graph. Another technique of studying is this. Whatever you are given, label it. It will help you a lot. So, I recommend that because it is an objective question, the answers are A, B, C, D. So, we do not use A, B, C, D. I will just use P, Q, R, S. This is very good for revision. So, when you talk about P, Q, you know that which part of the motion we are talking about. Alright, let us now refer to P, Q. Which is the initial velocity? P. Q is the final velocity. Alright. So what is acceleration here? Acceleration here actually, it does give us, this part of the graph should give us the acceleration. 
Another method of studying is this. Does it give us the value? No. My suggestion is put in the value. It doesn't matter. Okay, what number do you like? Please shout out a number. Show me. What number do you like? Show me by your fingers. It's okay. Alright, two. So, put two. Alright. And what about here? Never mind. Just put it one here. Two. Three. Let us say that this is in seconds. Doesn't matter. Velocity. Let's say this is in meter per second. Now, this is a very good technique that I teach my students. For questions that do not have values, you put in the values. You put in the numbers. Then everything becomes much, much easier. Now, you will see. Alright? Look at PQ. What is the acceleration? Just now, we have already looked at the formula. Okay? You see now, it's so simple because I have given it some values. What is V? Final velocity. Final velocity is here. Alright? So, which is 2. What is initial velocity? 0. This is meter per second. Divided by, what is the time taken? Time taken from 0 to 1 is 1 second. So, now you see, it is quite simple actually as you look at it. 2 minus 0 is 2. 2 divided by 1 is 2. So the answer is 2 meter per second per second. Is it a positive value or negative? Positive. Good. Look at the answers. Acceleration for the first part, PQ. Can this be a possible answer? Yes. Can this be a possible answer? Yes. What about this? Ah, see, some of you shaking your heads, isn't it? So, this cannot be. What about D? This is negative. It cannot be. It has to be positive because this is actually the zero mark. So, now between A and B, we have to look at the next two sections. Alright, let's go back to our original graph again. Now, we look at QR. I'll use another color for QR. Again, acceleration, I put Q R, okay, equals to V, I put R, minus U, I put Q, divided by time, which is one second. What is the velocity here? Two. What is the velocity at Q? Two. All right. Divided by one second. Two minus two? Zero. So what's the answer? Zero meter per second per second. Look at the answer again. Okay. So I'm just looking at A and B. I'm not going to touch on C and D anymore. Okay, look at the this section. Both are the same. Ha ah, now let's take a look at the third part. RS. The shape of the graph RS and PQ. It is going up. In other words, the velocity is increasing. So we have calculated acceleration at PQ just now, or acceleration from P to Q just now. This is from P to Q. You notice that it is a positive value. So what can you say about RS, the acceleration? It has to be positive as well. Alright, so without having to repeat the working, we will know straight away that, how come there is a plus here? Alright, we will know straight away that from our working, you know that the answer has to be B, because the acceleration is positive. This acceleration here is negative. It is wrong. So we have worked it out step by step, all right? And you know that B is the answer. Okay, to summarize it all. Number one, you need to ask a question. If I'm given a question like this, what do I do? Go back to the equation, 
governing linear motion. You must know what equation to use. Number two, I have suggested that you put in values to calculate. Now, if I've done this question without giving you values, life would have been more difficult, isn't it? Now I put in values, it's easier to see. All right? So as you put in values, you work it out, you will be able to understand that the answer is we have PQ and RS, PQ and RS as positive acceleration, and then in the middle section, there is no acceleration at all. So I'm sure you look for more questions, try to answer the questions, try to understand, apply the principles that I have taught, and I'm quite sure that you will be all right. Okay, so time is up. I'll see you again the next time. And once again, thank you very much for your time, and may God bless you.